This is everything you want to know about soft tubes. Console one, Mark three. Almost. Let's go. Put some specs on the screen for you. Power that sucker on. Console one comes with an on-screen display app. Open it. Top left, press the on button to toggle the on-screen display on and off. Load the plugin, and here's the GUI. Windows resizable. Cool note, you can use the console one plugin without the hardware and still have all the benefits of the processing. You have your tape and preamp section, your filter section, your shape section, EQ, compressor section, and your drive section. Each track is selectable using the buttons on the top. The LEDs are color coded. You can also bank using the page buttons. Selecting a track on the hardware also selects the track in your session. Three segmented LEDs for each track, letting you know the balance of the incoming signal. It's also programmable to the outgoing signal. To engage a section, all you have to do is turn a knob. You can also toggle that section on and off using the on or off buttons at the bottom. Serial processing for the EQ and compressor sections. You can bypass each section individually. A cool new thing in Console 1 Mark III, dual high resolution displays. You have an EQ analyzer. You can display the name and number of your tracks, VU meter, gain reduction meter, waveform, shape section, EQ section. Adaptive shows you the last parameter that was changed and compressor section. Navigating menus is simple. You can cycle through all the options using the red volume knob. Select using the solo or the OK. You'll notice that mostly everywhere you see writing, there's a secondary function. You access that secondary function using the shift button and your on-screen display will reflect those options accordingly. New to console one Mark III is the new tape and preamp section where you can load a selection of your favorite preamps, including UAD's offerings. Another cool detail is that you can also change the order of the processing of the sections. You can change the Q value of the lowest and highest bands of your frequencies. Cool addition. There's also an option for makeup gain for compression. You now can control six different sends. Press the send button, control. Access the secondary send, hold down shift. Brand new potentiometer knobs, they feel great. The LEDs respond to touch. The parameter is highlighted just from touching. Brand new core mixing suite, complete with the core FET compressor, the core bus compressor, a vintage EQ, a modern EQ, shape and panner, tape emulation for the input. Oh yeah. They've improved their preset management. You have the option to undo and redo. There's now stereo width on the output. In the case that you want to experiment, you can set up different parameters and save them to A, B, C, or D. Loading a specific plugin into each section, you hold down the load strip section button, press the section that you want to load a plugin. So hold down load strip, select the section, select your plugin. To solo tracks, you hold down solo and select the tracks that you want to solo. It's also the case with the mute button. You could toggle different views using the mode button. You have your channel view, your track overview, knobs view, scribble strip that shows your meter, like your meter bridge. Lots of different settings that you can adjust. You can adjust the knob speed, different view modes, the analyzer modes, all the accessibility features, DAW settings, software settings, hardware settings, go crazy. Pressing shift in mode lets you access the Apollo central features, allowing you to control your UAD interface, load your plugins, and make adjustments using the hardware. Control your DAW's main output using the volume knob, or you can control the track's fader when you press volume and use the volume knob. Console One integrates seamlessly with the DAW that you're using. I use it with Studio One, and it's perfect. This is just some of my favorite features for the Console One Mark III. Question really becomes, who couldn't use one of these? I'll catch you on the next video. I want to look at like a superstar